Ready, off they go. The dog in the green jacket, Husky Shiraz, can be seen starting this race in Launceston in March, but it doesn't finish the race. Missing in the video on Taz Racing's website is what happened to the dog. You see Husky Shiraz in the footage, then suddenly the footage cuts, and what we know is a Husky Shiraz had to be destroyed as a result of a fracture to its left tibia. At least 10 video replays on Taz Racing's website show races in which dogs were injured, but the moment the injury occurs is edited out or otherwise obscured. This is very unusual behaviour and it points to a cover-up uh, and it tells us that there's a reason this industry doesn't have a social licence. Taz Racing says it does not believe it should broadcast incidents when greyhounds fall or are injured and this has been its practice since 2011. What's important is that the data is presented transparently in terms of uh, injuries uh, and uh, animals euthanised. There were about 12,000 starters in Tasmanian greyhound races last financial year. During that period, 294 greyhounds were injured during races and nine died or were euthanised. In the year before, 369 dogs were injured and seven died or were put down. They are deliberately hiding from the public these horrors, these injuries and these deaths. Taz Racing says it's continuing to invest in infrastructure and animal welfare. Laura Beavis, ABC News.